In the last video you saw how I serviced that unit. Yeah, I checked the flat flex cable from the LCD where it goes into the controller board. Yeah, that connector seems fine. I checked the main board for cold solder joints by yeah, applying light pressure at different points. No luck. I even took the whole front plate apart and applied a little bit of hot air 150 degrees to where the flat flex is glued to the LCD. No luck. And the unit, yeah, the display is dead and the unit is still, yeah, it's still there. And we can repeat that another time, but the LCD display won't come on. But now I will leave it on with the dead display for uh, some time. We'll see. I'll come back later. And please note that eerie <laughs> glow on the display again. We had that before too. And yeah, the back, the backlight is okay. We saw that when we serviced the unit and switched it on and off while it was open. You can see through some holes in the back of the controller board that the backlight, yeah, is shining uh, through. So it is on. Sorry for the exposure thing in between the sun came out and uh, yeah, I had to close the blinds at the window. And yeah, we are now almost 90 minutes in. Uh, come on, is that still readable? Yeah, yeah it is, 90 minutes in. And now I switch it off and I switch it on. And the display is there. <laughs> switch it off. Switch it on. Display is still there. Now I switch it off and we reset the clock. And I will, uh, yeah, uh, also stop the video and start it again. Just a sec. Yeah, uh, to keep the file size of the video file uh, reasonably and start the clock again. And uh, we'll let it cool down for 90 minutes or so. And then we switch it on again and we'll see what happens. Okay, the unit was off for 53 minutes, 54. Now let's switch it on again. And the display is still there. Uh, okay. Um, I will not film that, but I will leave it. It's now, what's the time? Yeah, about 11 a.m. I will leave it shut off uh, for, well, <clears throat> an hour or a few hours and then we switch it on again and we'll see if the display comes on. It's working just fine. It's, yeah, uh, 10 minutes past 2 p.m. now, so the unit was off three hours, uh, over three hours, and if we switch it on now, Oh, the display is still there. Uh, I will uh, disconnect it from mains AC and leave it overnight. It's 4 p.m. now, the same day uh, I reconnected the unit to mains AC just out of interest. Yeah, display is still working. I guess I have to wait overnight. Sorry, getting impatient here. It's not the next morning, it's 10 p.m. And yeah, I'm just trying it again. <laughs> As a matter of course, fire in the hole. Display still working. Okay, now I will leave it overnight, okay. <laughs> okay. 
it's finally the next morning uh, and we have yeah almost 10 30 p.m. a.m. a.m. and I want to point out that the room temperature is about 18 degrees so the heating was off overnight of course and now we'll see if the display will come on and it still comes on. It's a tragedy. <laughs> uh, I really have no idea. No idea at all. Now it's several hours later. Uh, yeah, uh, almost 3 p.m. And <laughs> I put the unit into the fridge. Uh, yeah, nothing too cold, just 7 degrees Celsius. Uh, for about two hours, I got it out again and let it sit here for an hour or so, just to make sure that there's no condensation inside on the board and such. And now <sighs> we'll try if it's still working because I think I, yeah, I before suspected it was a thermal error, but it's, it's still working. I, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I think I will use it for a while and see uh, what happens. Um, yeah, maybe when I continue <laughs> to do the review, uh, <clears throat> it will fail again. We'll see. Till then, bye.